In this video, we're going to look at the angles at circumference and center proof. So here we've got a circle, and we've got the angle at the center, B, and we've got the angle at the circumference, A. And what we want to do in this video is show that the angle B is twice the size of angle A. So in other words, 2 times A will equal B. Okay, so that's what we're trying to show if we times this by 2, we get B. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to join up the center to this point on the circumference here. So let's do that. Now, what we could notice here, we've got two smaller triangles, this one and this one. And let's focus on the one on the left-hand side here for a second. We've got the center, and this line here would be the radius. I'm just going to mark it with an R. And this line here would also be the radius. Let's mark it with an R. So this is an isosceles triangle. This triangle here is an isosceles triangle. I'm going to mark in this uh, angle here as X. I'm going to mark in this angle up here as X also. Okay, so we've got our isosceles triangle with X here and X here. Uh, let's mark in here a W, just to show that this angle is also got a certain size, and it's called W. Now let's look at the other triangle here. We've got this is the radius from the center to the circumference here, and this line here would also be the radius, so let's mark it with an R. So that means that this angle and this angle are the same size. So let's mark this angle in as a Y, and this angle here in as a, as a Y. And all we're going to do is I'm going to mark in this angle here as a Z. Okay, so what I've got so far is I've got X and X being these two angles and this angle being a W and I've got this angle as a Z and this angle as Y and Y. Okay, now uh, what I know is that W, if I look at this triangle here, W would be, because the angles in triangle add up to 180 and I'm going to take away these two angles to leave me with W, W would have to be 180 minus 2 times X, so minus the two X's. So that's the size of W, it's 180 minus X and X. And Z, well Z, let's, well we've got this angle here as Y, we've got this angle as Y, and the whole thing adds up to 180. So if we take the two Y's away from 180, it will leave me with Z. So Z is 180 minus 2Y. So that's the size of W and the size of Z. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to call this angle here at the bottom, um, let's call it, let's call it B. So let's go and we'll call this angle B at the bottom. I know that W plus Z plus B must be 360. So let's write that out. W plus Z plus B equals 360. Now I'm going to replace the W with the 180 minus 2X, and I'm going to replace the Z with 180 minus 2Y. So let's do that. So 180 minus 2X, that's W, plus Z, which is 180 minus 2Y and then plus B, which is the angle we want at the bottom, equals 360. Now, what we're gonna do is just simplify this. So our left-hand side would become 360 uh, minus 2X minus 2Y plus B equals 360. If we take 360 off both sides, we'd be left with minus 2X minus 2Y plus B equals zero. And if we add 2x's and 2y's to both sides, we're going to get b equals 2x plus 2y. So it means that this angle here, b, the angle at the bottom here, is 2x plus 2y. Now notice the angle at the top is x plus y, and the angle at the bottom is 2x plus 2y. So this angle here is x plus y, and this angle here is 2x plus 2y. Notice the angle at the bottom is twice the angle at the top, so therefore, no matter what size the angles are, the angle at the center will always be twice the angle at the circumference. So just to finish off, we know that B is 2X plus 2Y, and we know that A is equal to X plus Y. So let's start off with B. So B is equal to 2X plus 2Y. Let's factorize it so get, you will get B is equal to 2 bracket X plus Y. But we know that A is X plus Y, so we've got that B is equal to 2A. And that's our proof that B is equal to 2A. So we know that the angle at the center will always be twice the angle at the outside of the circumference.